Okay guys, we're back uh, to talk about experimental design. Uh, today we're just going to talk about the procedure and the qualitative observations, which would be fairly straightforward. Hopefully this will be a short video. Um, so first of all, procedure and setup diagrams, you're going to list whatever you did for the experiment um, in list form as um, requested by the rubric. So. Uh, hopefully you can follow that by stating what you did first and then second including your setting up and then also including your different um, trials and you're changing the x uh, value for each time so one thing that you need to mention especially is repeating steps blah through blah each time changing your x variable to level one two and three respectively um, to show that oh yeah this is um, what you exactly did um, as something that I've heard someone say before, your procedure should be clear enough that um, someone else can repeat it accurately, and then it should be very easy to read instead of using all kinds of um, crazy terms that uh, no one knows what you're referring to. And I also need to so. add that um, you need to draw the diagrams also for each step that you're taking. Not exactly each step, but the important steps where you are setting something up or there's something, some major changes that you need to show. Um, draw the diagrams and label them, um, tell them which step you are describing with your with your diagram. And then qualitative observations, it's kind of a confusing concept to me. When I did the event, uh, this is the part that I never did, actually one of the only parts that I've never even touched hands on. Um, but I asked uh, one of my friends who's also on the team with me, and then here's what she said. Yeah, so there's that. I guess what we're saying is what exactly happened during the experiment, what did you see, what did you notice that was going on? Maybe there were bubbles popping out from um, the liquid, maybe some color was changing, um, maybe something else was happening, but nothing should include numbers that are going into your data table. That is why both the data table and the qualitative observations are there. Um, it's noticeable changes, and maybe someone was doing something, you could also say that, um, that made a difference, um, and something like that. So you need to, you need to play, pay close attention to what exactly is going on in there, and then um, talk about pretty much from beginning to end what is going on. So yeah, these are just the two that you need to uh, take note of before you come to the next practice, and then we'll um, actually have a worksheet on materials, procedure, and qualitative observations all on Wednesday. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, I could also give reference for you to someone else who might be um, a better expert at these three parts than I am. Um, and yeah, thanks!